She's trying to get down. She's trying yep. to. She's trying to. She's trying to catch whatever Usher's got. <laughs> yeah. oh. what, what is it these days? <laughs> I think it's like syphilis Whatever or he's something. Got, he's got it bad. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah. Syphilis. Oh, you man. got it, you got it bad. And you're itching and you're no. yeah. <laughs> We're to have to remix. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Poor Usher, man. Coming I f- soon. I feel for Usher, bro. Let's see. Who else? Mm. Uh, oh, this is what we're doing? I yeah. didn't know oh, this was what we're doing. Yeah, this is fine. We're freestyling. Let's fuck it. Let's just, let's just do this shit. This is, I mean, think th- about all the facets. You got the, the let's TV, just go through this TV industry. You got the movie industry. Let's you got just the go music through the industry. Sh- oh, Robert Downey industry. Jr. I'd be surprised. I would not be surprised by that. If Iron Man was... Come Cut, on, man. Dude, back in the day, he was though. coked out in like the back 90s the and 80s. Yeah, so if the, yeah, so if a woman came so if a woman came out like 20 years later... Exactly. I would not okay, be yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Him yeah. and Johnny Depp. Yeah, oh, Depp. Definitely Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Depp might still be getting the shit off. Yeah, probably. Like, he still might be doing it. I don't know. Russell Crowe. <laughs> I think Russell... <laughs> I think Russell's... <laughs> if it came out that Russell Crowe was raping women... Eh. I would kind of, I kind of would believe it. Would you? Yeah, Russell Crowe. He seems like a, a guy. That's he seems kind of shady, you're right? You're gonna, you're gonna do this. I think Mel Gibson. I, well, Mel Gibson Mel, wouldn't yeah. surprise me. He ooh, wouldn't surprise ooh, me at all. Ooh, ooh, at all. Ooh, ooh. He, he drinks a lot. James Earl Jones. Oh, see now that one, I would that one be hurts. surprised. That one that's hurts. Like, it's like that's Forrest like, Whitaker. Actually, that's kind of like <laughs> James Earl Jones is like. He's in that Forrest Whitaker category. He's in that Bill Cosby category. Same like, thing when with Morgan. When they said Bill Cosby was same, I was like, no way. Same not. thing with Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Yeah. Morgan. Oh, yep. <laughs> Holy shit. I was tearing up her pussy in particular. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Morpheus. No? No, nah, his daughter's doing porn. I think that's just I think that's a coping mechanism. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How about Cuba Gooding Jr.? It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, that would broke. surprise me. Wouldn't surprise no, me. You don't think so? Nah, Cuba Gooding Jr., bro, he's broke. He's not broke. Are you kidding? Bro. Show me show Mr. Show Me the Money is broke? Yeah, How? of course, because that was a movie scene. <laughs> that wasn't real no, life. That's that movie he's still getting was the last, still showing that on TV. He's got to be getting something. What was the last what was the last thing you see? What was the last uh, bro, He like, hasn't done anything in a while though. Now that you mention it. Yeah. I'm just saying, bro, when was the last time you saw Cuba Gooding Jr. anywhere? In mm. anything. Interesting. He doesn't produce. He doesn't do anything. Nope. He sure probably doesn't, doesn't need to. Why do we just assume that people aren't broke, bro? These motherfuckers is probably broke. We need to have a segment on what no happens. Where, where are they now? Are they broke? We need to. Where are they now? We should do segment. that, right? We should research what they're doing now, and then it'll be a segment. Are they broke? Yes yeah, no. we'll just we'll, we'll we'll just throw a name out there. Yeah, we'll just have like we'll just have like five. We'll have five people that people just fucking forgot about. People like I, like fucking Mims. Remember him? Yeah. <laughs> have yeah, people like broke. him? He's I can broke. tell you that right now. You think he's broke? There's no, there's no resurrection. For that's that. not, there's no that. mace coming. He's not, he's not. He's, he's not anybody. hot no more. Nah. <laughs> he was hot for like seven months. Days. Oh, snow is snow is just, snow is definitely snow has been bagging groceries since like '96. <laughs> you know, he's like teaching at a college community. Nah, he college could, somewhere. he could. Nah, he could. He could actually be the assistant manager somewhere. True, I believe it. Yeah, I think snow. I think snow is. He's probably assistant manager Domino. at Walmart. Same thing with Domino. You could go. You could go through all those all those old school people. Remember uh, TQ? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. TQ. Oh, dude. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure he's doing the same thing, man. Warren G. Yeah. What happened to Warren G? <laughs> I mean, when you Snoop Dogg, when you Snoop Dogg's cousin, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should be getting something. He's probably working at some. Corporate. Or not, not Snoop Dogg. He, he was uh, Dre's cousin. Oh, he's probably doing some corporate shit. Yeah, I'm sure Drake. If 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 Doctor Dre is your cousin, bitch, you you better Corporate. have a job somewhere. Like you got to give me something aftermath. Yeah, he's chilling. Like seriously, uh, you know, Warren G's in the studio making beats. Shit. <laughs> when was the last time you heard the G Funk sound? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Warren G's at the studio pressing up Snoop Dogg T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a graphic designer now. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of years since the Pioneer speakers were bumping. I'm DJ, just saying, DJ Warren G. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. It's been a long. He did long have a song as this DJ V Warren G. Yeah, I know that was like his second hit. That was literally his so second. He, now hit. he's actually a DJ. Wow, that's the what twenty years later spoken into existence. Twenty years later, he does birthday Warren parties G- and fucking New Year's get-togethers. That would be interesting. Company Look, runs. Bill Murray, Bill Murray just did Ghostbusters. He just did Ghostbusters last year. Um, no, but is no. he raping people or not? <laughs> exactly. 
Ooh. Bill Murray? Yeah. That would shock me. Yeah, that, that would shock me. me. That, you don't think so? Nah, there was a point in time in the 80s where Bill Murray was like one of the dirtiest dudes. People forget like the Caddyshack era and all that shit, bro. Bill Murray was dirty as Stripes. fuck. Stripes. Yeah. yeah. Remember, I, I think he probably raped Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> to be honest with you. Damn. <laughs> To be honest with you, I mean, uh, bro, he was a little bit too close on that. Go- and remember, was it the second Ghostbusters? Richard Gere. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Yeah, because. That was like the 90s. Yeah, because Harrison, Harrison Ford slid in his spot. Pretty much. I thought they were the same yeah. guy for a long time. <laughs> Everybody did. Like, Harrison Ford was like, yo, look. it's a, Every role that Harrison Ford ever got, Richard Gere tried out for first. Yeah. I would almost guarantee it. They were like, well, we need Let's some. Let's see what Harrison's doing first. <laughs> exactly. They were like, well, Richard, like, damn we it like, again. What you, <laughs> like, well, we like what you did, Richard, but we want somebody slightly older. So they called in Dustin Hoffman <laughs> and fucking Harrison Ford. That's a good one. Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Remember back when he was famous? I wouldn't be surprised if he was raping. I wouldn't be. No, well, once, ag- once again, man, what has he been doing? Like you gotta think. This is probably just a given, but Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, yeah, he's been raping. Oh he's yeah. Been, oh yeah, he's bro. He's been raping women Easily. on set. The thing is, is, he he probably has a hard time not filming it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what it's I'm part saying? of one of his movies coming out. He's probably. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's segueing into. Bro, he's had that whole porn haircut forever. So I'm sure he's gonna segue into doing that. Yep. But there's gonna like be epic porn. There's gonna be a. There's gonna be a sex. A Quentin Tarantino sex tape that comes out. It's gonna be nothing but feet and him. Yeah. <laughs> oh I'm just saying, man. Hey, we all know Quentin Tarantino has a foot fetish. That's true. Yeah, that's that's true. And for anybody who out there who's not listen who who doesn't know about that, go ahead and Google Tarantino movies and foot fetishes and uh see what comes up cuz you'll get like literally like a 20 minute clip of every single Tarantino movie he does a close up of the lead actress's feet. Every that's one true. of them. And he makes them do it. Like they're uncomfortable doing it. Like Uma Thurman didn't want to do it. The whole the whole scene where uh, she's l- sitting in the back of the truck and kill Bill, and she's like, "Wiggle your big toe." Fuck that. She doesn't like that because she didn't like the way her feet looked. Was it? Uh, the, they had to take. Uh, yeah, they did in uh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Were, um, Same thing. Dancing on the at that restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking in a uh, grindhouse. Grindhouse Rose McGowan. She's washing her freaking feet in the sink. She's washing mm-hmm. the blood off her feet in the sink. I mean, dude, it, it's it's. Fucking obvious, bro. <laughs> obvious. I think Jackie Brownie did. I think Jackie Brownie did the same shit with Pam Greer. Oh, uh, let me see that that that. Ooh, there. Sam Jackson. Ah, uh, think Sam Jackson's out here getting it angrily. Uh, <laughs> he's just angrily <laughs> really angry. He's angrily raping chicks. <laughs> I believe it. You won't give it up, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. How about Vin Rains. Oh man, I wouldn't do that to Ving, bro. That would surprise me. That would. That one would surprise me, bro. That's that, that's like you know God, you know God, God bless the dead, but but like Michael Clark Duncan, it's like uh, those two guys. Like I can't see it, man. Like I can never see Green Mile raping somebody. I can't see it. Yeah, I don't. I, don't see I can see him crushing a bird, but I can't see it. Like I could see him literally grabbing a bird and just crushing it, but I can't see him raping a girl. Dirk Nowitzki. No, <laughs> he's jer- he's foreign man. So I don't. You know what? I think there's like a on. there's like a maybe there's like a um a cultural a cultural like disconnect. I think when you go overseas, is it really rape? <laughs> <laughs> yes. As as no what are you means, talking about? No means no. In no matter where you go. No, yes. it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Tell that to tell that to the women in the Middle East. <laughs> When, <laughs> you know what you know what happens when they tell their husband no? They just die. They die, bro. <laughs> they die. They People's get stoned. Come off, man. Shit happens they to get them. Stoned to death. It, it gets it gets horrible. Oh man, it's still rape though. Tim Allen. Yeah, but it's it's yeah. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Is it rape if it's like if it's like legal by law? Your wife is property to over me, there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, to of me, course, because rape. we're because we're Americans. But like to them, I don't think that's rape to them. To them, it's like, hey, look, I do what I want. Yeah, she's mine. I own her body. Like, I, she's mine. Yeah. So I mean, like, it's fucked up, right? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Swiss. I mean, well, I mean, it is. It's it's messed up by American standards. But if that's what you do. 
Dude, animals rape each other every day. That's facts. What <laughs> more do you want? I'm just saying, from me? man. That happens every day, and we just look the other way, bro. You see animals. Why don't you bring that up, Tyrese? <laughs> Uh, I think if he's raping somebody, I would. I would ex- at this point in time, nah, I would expect raping. it. No, nah, he ain't raping. Nobody. You're crazy. I don't think so. You're crazy. I think he's. Dude. I think he's been doing this it. Guy, what more do you want from this me? Guy, yeah, he's the type of guy that begs for it. And what more it, do you that. want from me? That's what happens if she says no. No, she's not saying. That's po- exactly what happens. <laughs> no. it's like, I know you came to my fucking trailer. And I know you're half naked. Tyrese is getting it in, bro. And I know you said no, but what more do you want please, from me, please. Tyrese? Sweet Tyrese. lady, please. Oh, what more that's why, do you nah, want bro, from that's the, me? That's the cover. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. No, no, he ain't raping anybody. Because that's just, that, that's just too obvious. Well, yeah, okay, no let's let's put this in retrospect. Kevin Hart when yes. he first came out in the <laughs> WWF WWE versus now. <laughs> You mean Rocky Maivia? You mean Rocky Maivia? Rocky Maivia. <laughs> I don't think Rocky Maivia was raping people. <laughs> it's possible. It's really? Possibility. Yeah, Rocky Maivia. Nah, he's how corny that guy was. Uh, yeah, but that's why yeah. he changed his character. You that's why he changed his character, man. That's, that's that has nothing to do with him. I can imagine like like that the whole wrestling shit. I mean, you're sitting there like, damn. I wonder if shit's going on behind the scenes. Of oh course. yeah, of course it was. There's a lot of Hogan stuff going said on. That shit. Ultimate yeah. Warrior said that shit before he died. Ultimate Warrior put all that shit out there. Yeah, bro. All those, all those WWE, all those WWE divas and stuff. Now it's a little different because now they're they're more focused on like their wrestling and their characters yeah. and stuff like that. But I'm sure like Lita and Trish Stratus and Tori Wilson and oh, Sable I, I and all them. T Trish Stratus was probably they were getting tossed up, bro. Yeah, yep. she was. Like they bro. I mean, I, you already know Sable. Sable was married to to remember uh, marvelous Mark Marrow. <laughs> she was married to him. Was doing like three other people. Miss Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth was doing it with so many people that they actually wrote it into the storyline. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> right, was that, the, that was a WC. W, WC. No, nah, that was WWE. Right? That was that WWF. Was... That was Macho Man and Ric Flair. I thought it was Hogan. Wasn't Hogan involved at one point? Nah, bro. That was Macho Man and no, Ric Flair. Macho Man thought Hogan was. Oh, yeah. That's true. Because that's more true. than that's likely. the Mega be- Powers broke up. Yeah. More than likely behind the scenes, Miss Elizabeth was getting it on with everybody. Elizabeth. <laughs> like, oh, she's, she's mine. You're trying to claim. You're trying to claim. You, you're trying to claim the, the trailer park hoe. <laughs> rest oh, yeah. in peace. Yeah. Rest all all peace. of them rest in peace, man. Well, Macho Man and Miss Elizabeth. Was this? I think he heard the the voice. I believe that would be Bodafool. Ha <laughs> dope. At least I hope it's Bodafool. Bodafool's calling in. Dude, like my shit didn't even ring. That was a pretty fucking funny ass voicemail, though. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you save it so we can play it back. Yeah, I hit the delete button. I was too oh, late. you oh. fucking clock sucker. That's all right because I have him doing that. Uh, but I heard the beginning of it. Um, did you I get to like the two minute mark and then I realized I was still listening <laughs> and then and I was like you know this has gone way too long let me just call this asshole oh it's turned into an entire episode now yeah yeah, yeah. it actually has yeah unfortunately Miss Lyrical Love will not be joining us this evening funniest thing um, Bo yeah who, who would you be surprised if uh they were caught raping somebody um, well, and, and I mean, realistically, not all this shit is rape, but yeah, um, sexually some, harassing somebody, sexual harassment. Because I mean, you can't like, let's not like say they're all raping bitches. I'm saying not. it's all, I'm saying it's all rape. I'm lumping it all together. <laughs> yeah, let's just say rape. Let's just take take it to the longest, like worst case scenario. That way, that that way, when it comes out that they've done it's less, more shocking. It's better. Yeah, well, I'm gonna say sexual harassment because I'm gonna be politically correct here. Okay. Um, Who are you, you would be surprised with, Bo? Um, real shit. I mean, it would be surprising, but not necessarily surprising. Will Smith. Ooh, Ooh I like that. I didn't even think about that. I thought about that. It would that. be surprising because you wouldn't necessarily expect it, but then you kind of wouldn't be surprised because he's Fresh Prince. Right, and it's well, that. Really- him and from him and the, uh, him and Jada the, have an open marriage though. Yeah, they that, do. that right there. Yeah, from what the uh, you know articles and shit say, yeah. which is they allegedly awesome. have an open relationship. Every but, man needs a Jada. Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. I think every man just one needs to get with Jada. If I had known, that, imagine if you had known that years ago that Will and Jada had an open marriage. Remember when Jada Pinkett was like super hot? 
still is. Still is. Y'all are crazy. She's not that hot. She no just more. needs to eat a little bit more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's not yeah. as hot as she was. She's not. She's not Miss Purdy anymore. I'm just saying. 